Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use your uh, iFi card to uh, basically get your upload key and your Wi-Fi password. Um, as we know, a lot of these cards uh, support, they discontinued it, so uh, what you'll need here is a Linux program from that URL there, a working version of Linux, um, and I use VMware in my case. You'll also need an uh, Android device, a phone or tablet, and this app called MoPhotos. And you can also auto-upload to Dropbox once you get all this set up. So this is just a sample showing my iFi's uh, hotspot and password after you run the Linux command. And then the next page here, we're going to show uh, an example of my upload key. And this is this is the key to uh, to getting your your upload key into Mo Photos and then being able to use your your card uh, in a tethered type fashion. So first of all, we're going to download the Linux program. Uh, all the details are here. Uh, you may have to pause this video at times to read the the pop-ups I've got on here, but uh, I'll. Try to make this as step by step easy as possible. So here I'm putting my uh, iFi card in, which has the the programs on it. I'm going to connect it with my VMware as a device. It's going to now show up in uh, Linux. And so now you've got your uh, compressed program. You want to uncompress it. This is the one that you downloaded from that the site at the start of the video. Once it's uncompressed, uh, I suggest putting it into a folder like Downloads, just so it's within the, the Linux uh, folder structure. You don't have any permission problems. And click Show Files. So now you've got your files here. Open as root. Right-click anywhere to open as root and then open a terminal and now you've got your terminal window uh, command line so if you're not running 64-bit Linux you need to run a couple of additional commands um, but as long as everything is good um, so I, in my case I did I did have a 32-bit version of, of the Linux I'm using uh, uh, Linux Mint it just seems to be easier if you type the ls command, you'll show the folder, the, the files and the folders. And then what I just did there is type the make command. And make is basically what compiles the program that you're going to need to use. Um, so the, the program there is ifi config without any extension on it. I'll show this again because um, I, I did it on video at first. So this is just showing the make command again. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to set up the Linux part if, if because um, I think a lot of people are Windows users and they're not so used to, to Linux. So anyway, so here's the make command. And then those other commands if you need to get the additional files. And that green iFi config is the program that you need in order to access to, to interrogate uh, the information on the card. So if you do dot slash ifi config it'll it'll show you the commands that you need in the in the case of the upload key which is the most important thing it's the hyphen u command so this here is going to show this command here that i just typed in is the ifi uh, wi-fi direct mode uh, hotspot and password um, which you will need um, and then basically there's other commands here I won't go into but you can more or less figure them out there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with it all right so this is your upload key which is uh, to me the most important thing because with the current iFi software you can't really do anything at this point with it so basically I typed dot slash iFi config hyphen u shows the upload key and then in the mo photos 
app on your Android device, you go into Preferences, iFi Key, and make sure you type in exactly the same key as what's on your your SD card or the iFi card, which you got right here in the Linux program. See how those match there. And now we're going to actually um, do the tethering part. So add your SD card, your iFi card to your DSLR camera. You have to take at least two photos to activate the, the Wi-Fi hotspot. So there's two photos. Uh, it takes uh, maybe less than 30 seconds, then it'll eventually show up there. Uh, I'm using a, a Wi-Fi a connect program, but you can just use, you can just regularly connect to it. So now you're, you're connected to the, the iFi card's Wi-Fi hotspot. And now um, I have a Tasker app, a uh, task that's running to basically launch Mo Photos. And once Mo Photos is connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot on the, the card, it'll automatically um, download the images to your, in my case, the Android phone. You can see there's a first image, the next image right there. It's pretty quick. So there's our, our tether. That's That piece is done. Now this is the bonus part. So once you disconnect you know, the, the iFi hotspot and you connect back to your main network, you can now, uh, I have a Tasker app that runs a folder sync for the Mo, Mo folders uh, folder sync. And then it basically syncs to Dropbox. So now you've got the the pictures on your PC or wherever, wherever you have your your Dropbox. And so we basically went from the DSLR camera to the Android device, to the PC, all pretty pretty quick. And as part of the Tasker uh, command or, or configuration, you can auto delete the pictures off of the, the Mo Photos folder. So now I'm gonna show you how to basically uh, download Linux Mint for either VirtualBox or VMware. In my case, uh, it was VMware. So you just basically go to that site and download it. Um, it's basically, there's some instructions on that site itself, but you want to have the hard drive um, set up to um, that image that you just downloaded. There's the password. And once you've got in, you, you can follow the steps that I, I did earlier. This is now VirtualBox. It's pretty standard, the installation. There's nothing special you need to do. Um, so when you first launch it, um, Linux, Ubuntu, I, in my case, I put 32-bit. And this is where you need to specify the, the image file that you downloaded from that site. So Linux Mint. 18.2 cinnamon and start. I um, edited this video to make it a bit quicker so you wouldn't be waiting to, for it to launch, but um, there's OS boxes. So you're in Linux now. So that's pretty much it. So you should be able to use your iFi card now instead of having to rely on the software.